In 2010, solar was four times more expensive than the levelized cost of fossil fuels. In other words, solar was just not really a viable alternative. But even back then, Tony Sieber predicted everything would change. And it did. In fact, it's changing even faster than what the most optimistic and according to many of the so-called realists or experts claimed would happen. If you look at the transformation worldwide between 2010 and 2024, everything has changed in a remarkable way to the point where now solar has gone from being four times more expensive than fossil fuels to being much, much cheaper. Imagine where we'll be in 10 years from today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, guys, I just spoke at the Software Engineering Conference called SEAT in Melbourne, Victoria. And if you'd like me to come and speak to your organization, I would love to do so. Presenting them with some data, data showing the incredible transformation we're seeing right before our eyes. We're talking about the greatest disruption in the history of mankind. Everything is being disrupted. Energy is being disrupted at an historic pace. And I don't think people really realize what's going on because it is an exponential transformation. Solar's levelized cost has, well, it's fallen so far that, that the International Renewable Energy Agency says that in 2010, solar was four times more as expensive as the lowest cost fossil fuels. However, now the levelized cost of solar electricity is 56% lower than the cost of fossil fuels. Today, generating electricity from solar is less than half as expensive as the lowest cost fossil fuel alternative. And now that doesn't tell you the real full story though, because the full story is this. People believe coal power plants are revolutionary. They're great, we need them. We need them for baseload, other myths like that, which aren't true, or they think the same about nuclear. But you've got to keep in mind, these power plants now are incredibly inefficient because they are usually being turned off or at least turned right down during the middle of the day, about 90% of the year when renewables are so powerful. And it means the efficiency of these fossil fuel power plants has plummeted. It's the key reason why about 90% of coal power plants in China are actually making a loss. Solar has taken center stage in global energy development as costs have fallen to record lows. Now, even, um, even whilst we've seen enormous cost in wind generation, in fact, the cost of wind has fallen by 70% since 2010, but it hasn't fallen anywhere near as fast as solar. The International Renewable Energy Agency, or the IRENA, reported data through 2023, noting that solar's levelized cost of electricity has fallen 90% since 2010. However, since 2023, since this research was done, experts say that the cost of panels and modules, solar panels and modules, have fallen an additional 50%. LCOE is a critical measure of cost efficiency of generation sources across technology types. This metric, says pvmagazineusa.com, is based on lifetime cost divided by energy production and calculates the present value of the total cost of building and operating a power plant over an assumed lifetime. Now, keep in mind, this data is based on the United States. Solar is much more expensive in the United States than in more many countries worldwide because of the barriers against Chinese-made products. Now, I'm not criticizing that. I'm just stating the point. Solar, for example, is approximately 50% cheaper here in Australia than it is in America. The most dramatic decline has been seen for solar PV generation. The LCOE, or the levelized cost of energy of electricity, of solar PV was 56% less than the weighted average fossil fueled alternatives in 2023, having been 414% more expensive in 2010. Now its costs are coming down. And a lot of people think, well, yeah, that's great. Solar's very, very cheap, but you need battery storage, which is true. But the cost of batteries has fallen even faster than the cost 
of solar. And the naysayers, whilst they focus on today or yesterday, people who can really think for themselves focus on where we'll be next year or the year after that, or even in 2030. Solar LCOE costs globally have declined from 40, 46 cents per kilowatt hour to 0.44, or about 4 cents per kilowatt hour. 46 cents to 4 cents per kilowatt hour. In 2023, the new, in 2023, the year-on-year -year reduction was 12%. Solar PV capacity grew 35-fold, 35 times between 2010 and 2023 with over 1.4 terawatts installed through 2023. However, whilst we saw an increase in solar deployment last year of 83% worldwide, solar deployments this year have rocketed up as well. Capacity factor or the amount of maximum available electricity generation that is actually produced has improved from about 13.8% to around 17%. But with the newest generation panels, those numbers are hitting 22 to 23%. This improvement can be attributed to increased solar panel efficiency, improved racking, tracking and monitoring and other operational efficiencies. Various factors are expected to continue to increase solar PV technology's competitiveness in the longer term. These include continued improvement in the equipment efficiency of the installed production capacity, manufacturing optimization by the implementation of lean processes, more efficient use of materials and design innovation. These are expected to more than offset the recent temporary cost increases, said Irina. Now, keep in mind as well that solar panel efficiency is improving about 1% every single year. Doesn't sound like much, but actually it's exponential. That figure is incredible. In addition to that, solar module prices are going down every single year for the last 10 years in a row. Now, the only expensive part to actually getting solar installed are the human beings we still require to install it. And some companies are working on having robots replace humans in that job. Now, that's, of course, something that Tony Siebert talks about as well. Contributions to cost declines in installed utility scale solar projects can mostly be attributed to lowered module inverter costs. Globally, 67% of the cost declines from 2010 to 2016 was it, were attributed to declining costs in these two components. From 2016 through 2023, solar module and inverter cost declines represented about 37% of the cost reduction of a complete utility scale solar installation. Operations and maintenance costs apparently have also fallen as well. In the United States, median O and M costs for utility scale plants declined 74% between 2011 and 2022, from $42 per kilowatt hour to $11 per kilowatt per year annually. PV Magazine says that recent costs in the United States are dominated by preventive maintenance and insurance with these making up 59 to 62% of the total, depending on the system type and configuration. New solar installations totaled 346 gigawatts in 2023, growing around 83% versus 2022, and representing the largest year-on-year -year increase since 2011. Solar has held the largest share of new renewable energy capacity developed every year since 2016, which makes perfect sense because 90% of the planet lives on the sun belt. And we often hear about wind generation being so important and so integral because it's used heavily in grids in Europe, which are more advanced than grids outside of Europe. But actually, the idea that a grid needs to be dominated by um, either wind, nuclear, or coal to have a base load generating enough capacity is actually a myth. And Tony Sieber outlines the reasons why that isn't true in his speech on solar and wind all the way back in 2014. Irina reported battery storage annual capacity additions as well increased from 0.1 gigawatt hours gross capacity in 2010 to 95.9 gigawatt hour capacity in 2023. So we've gone from 0.1 gigawatt hours of batteries worldwide in 2010, 0.1 to fast forward to 2023, 95.9 gigawatt hours. But over the next two years, it's forecast 
that 95.9 gigawatt hours will increase to around 300 gigawatt hours. Between 2010 and 2023, the cost of battery storage projects declined by 89%, and the lifetime of those batteries approximately doubled and in some cases tripled. The cost of batteries went from $2,511 per kilowatt hour to $2,511 per kilowatt hour to a staggering $273 per kilowatt hour last year. This year, its estimated costs have fallen to around $145 US dollars. Considering 14 years ago, the cost of batteries was, well, exponentially more, $2,511, it shows you just how far we've truly come. If you still believe that fossil fuels are the answer and the global grid can't do without them, then you simply aren't paying attention to what's really happening. Thanks for watching.